what the swab looks like. You'll see that on one end, it actually has a little arrow that says open on it. And on that end, the, the plastic is actually slightly separated from the paper so that you can peel this plastic back to open up the swab. Okay, so this is no different than opening up a Band-Aid. This is what the swab looks like. So there's several things I want you to notice. First is this end. This is the, the swab end that's actually going to go in the nose. And you can see how long it is. When the student swabs their nose, we want the entire end of that swab, that, that fuzzy part of the swab, to be in their nose before they turn it around. It's very important that it gets in there. Now, it will tickle a little bit. I actually practiced this on myself for about half an hour ago just to make sure I got it right. And it will tickle a little bit. It may make them feel like they need to sneeze. Um, but if, and if they're doing that, then they've done it correctly. The other thing to notice is that there's a little indentation on the swab. This is the point where it gets snapped off, okay? And it's very easy to snap it off, okay? Hopefully everybody can see that Baz moved up a little closer, okay? And so literally, I'm going to take my mask off now. Baz's going to stay a little distance from me here. i got to put this around my, uh, there we go. So what you want is you want the student to insert the swab into their nose, and then turn it around three times, okay? Take it out, put it on the other side, turn it around three times, take the swab out, and then, in, and I, I screwed up here, I should have uncapped the vial before we did this, but then they should take the swab, insert it into the conical tube, and if they put it in and just pull on the, the swab like that, it will snap off. And you can now see that the swab is in the tube and the, the, the uh, fuzzy part of the tube is now down in that saline. This plastic piece, they throw in the trash, they put the cap back on the vial, they put this inside the bag, seal it up like we described, and literally, I'm gonna show you what the sealing process looks like. They peel this plastic off, they fold this over, just like sealing an envelope, that's it. That is literally it, and then that gets dropped back into whatever container we're going to use to collect the, the specimen. And that is the entire procedure. 